Hello and welcome to Millennium News TV 24-7 Daily Global News Update in English. My name is Todd Goldfinger. Here are today's top headlines. Thank you for being with us. News story number one. Heavy rains pounded an already saturated northeast on Sunday for the second time in a week, spurring another round of flash flooding canceled airline flights and power outages. In Pennsylvania, a sudden flash flood late Saturday afternoon claimed at least five lives. Officials in Bucks County, Upper Makefield Township in Pennsylvania said torrential rains occurred around 5.30 p.m. Saturday in the Washington Crossing area, sweeping away several cars. At least five people died and two children a nine-month-year-old boy and his two-year-old sister remained missing, authorities said. Other parts of the East Coast were experiencing heavy rain, including Vermont. Authorities said landslides could become a problem Sunday as the state copes with more rain following days of flooding. Next news. News story number two. The trail had gone cold as clues finally, as clues suddenly dwindled. For a time, doubts swirled about whether a killer who dumped the remains of his female victims along remote stretches of coastline on New York's Long Island would ever be caught. Then finally, after more than a dozen long years, bereaved families of the victims were provided with a whiff of relief Friday when authorities announced the arrest of a 59-year-old architect who believes is, is who they believe is responsible for the deaths the arrest kindled rekindled anger and grief but also brought the prospect of closure for family members including Amory Brot, Amy Brot whose cousin Melissa Bartholemy was the first of the victims to be discovered found accidentally during a search for another woman Next news, news story number three. One police officer was killed and two others were critically wounded in a shooting on a busy street in Fargo, North Dakota. That left, that also left the suspect dead, police said. A witness told the Associated Press that she saw a car crash and police standing around before gunfire broke out. A civilian who was also severely wounded in the shooting that happened just before 3 p.m. Friday, police said in a late night statement that provided no details about how the shooting unfolded or possible motive. Several people say they saw a man open fire on officers before other officers shot him. Genoa Peterson told the Associated Press that she saw a car crash and police standing around as she was driving with her 22-year-old daughter. Then a man pulled out a gun and began firing at police. In quotes, he proceeds to aim it and you just hear bullets go off and I'm like, oh my God, he's shooting. End quotes. Next news. News story number four. Five people leaving a cemetery after a funeral were shot and wounded Friday <clears throat> by someone firing into their car from a second vehicle in a Maryland suburb of the nation's capital, police said. No arrests were immediately made, and the five victims were all taken to area hospitals as authorities pleaded for the help of passing motorists in identifying suspects in the brazen daylight attack in busy traffic. The shooting site is near a bridge that crosses the Anacostia River in Bladensburg, about a mile, 0.6 kilometers east of the Maryland border with Washington, D.C. Next news. News story number five. He's been indicted twice, found liable for sexual abuse, and is viewed unfavorably by about 
third of his party. But six months before Republicans begin to choose their next presidential nominee, former President Donald Trump remains the race's dominant frontrunner. Early leaders don't always go on to win their party's nomination, but a growing sense of Trump's inevitability is raising alarms among some Republicans desperate for the party to move on. Some describe the sense of panic, or DEFCON 1, as one puts it, as they scramble to de try to derail Trump and change the trajectory of the race. But there's no clear plan or strategy on how to do that yet, and Trump's detractors aren't rallying around a single alternative candidate yet. We're going to take a short break from the Daily Global English News of Millennium News TV 24-7. Please stay with us. Thank you. Welcome to the world of Millennium News 24. We bring news, we analyze news, and we make a bridge between you and the eventful world. 24-7 Millennium News 24 team is at your service. Don't miss Todd Goldfinger show, Goldfinger Music Hour, Noon News with host Todd Goldfinger. Millennium News 24 is available to be watched free for all TVs such as Sony, Samsung, LG, Roku TV, Amazon TV, and Apple TV. And also in all European countries and Australia available with the Sky Network, Worldwide Jago TV, Radiant IPTV, Worldwide Jago BD Network, and Horizon Satellite globally. Millennium TV 24 News, news you need to know. Welcome to the the world of Millennium News 24. We bring news, we analyze news, and we make a bridge between you and the eventful world. 24-7 Millennium News 24 team is at your service. Don't miss today's America, Editorial Today, and Global Democracy with host Topadir Noor. Millennium News 24 is available to be watched free for all TVs such as Sony, Samsung, LG, Roku TV, Amazon TV, and Apple TV. And also in all European countries and Australia available with the Sky Network, Worldwide Jago TV, Radiant IPTV, Worldwide Jago BD Network, and Horizon Satellite globally. Millennium TV 24 News, news you need to know. Hello and welcome back to Millennium News TV 24-7 Daily Global News Update in English. My name is Todd Goldfinger and here's the continuation of today's top stories. Thank you for being with us. News story number six. Alabama Senator Tommy Tuberville is waging an unprecedented, unprecedented campaign to try to change Pentagon abortion policy by holding up hundreds of military nominations and promotions, forcing less experienced leaders into jobs and raising concerns at the Pentagon about military readiness. Senators in both parties, including Republican leader Mitch McConnell, have pushed back on Tuberville's blockade, but Tuberville is dug in. He says he won't drop the holds unless majority Democrats allow a vote on the policy. For now, the fight is at a stalemate. Democrats say a vote on every nominee could tie up the Senate floor for months, and they don't want to give in to Tuberville's demands and encourage similar blockades of nominees in the future. Next news. News story number seven. Efforts to deceive the public about voting and elections remains a top concern for state election officials as they dig into preparations for the 2024 election. Misinformation and the emergence of generative artificial intelligence tools to create false and misleading content were cited in interviews with several secretaries of state gathered recently for their national conference. Other top concerns were staffing and the loss of experienced leaders overseeing elections at the local level. The officials were gathered in Washington for the annual summer conference of the National Association of Secretaries of State. Next news. News story number eight. 
Only about one in 10 U.S. adults give high ratings to the way democracy is working in the United States or how well it represents the interests of most Americans. According to a new poll from the Associated Press, NORC Center for Public Affairs Research. Majorities of adults say U.S. laws and policies do a poor job of representing what most Americans want on issues ranging from the economy and government spending to gun policy, immigration, and abortion. The poll shows 53% say Congress is doing a bad job of upholding democratic values, compared with just 16% who say it's doing a good job. The findings illustrate widespread political alienation as a polarized country limps out of a pandemic and into a recovery haunted by inflation and fears of a recession. In interviews, respondents worried less about the machinery of democracy, voting laws, and the tabulation of ballots, and more about the outputs. Next news, news story number nine. The chair of the Federal Trade Commission defended her aggressive legal strategy towards the country's biggest technolo technology companies Thursday as House Republicans charged that the agency has become overzealous and politicized under President Joe Biden. Republicans charged that Lena Khan is harassing Twitter since its acquisition by Elon Musk, arbitrarily suing large tech companies and declining to recuse herself from certain cases. In April, the committee subpoenaed Khan after an investigation by the panel that concluded the agency went after Musk for political reasons. Next news, news story number 10. 13 Republican state attorneys general are cautioning CEOs of the 100 biggest U.S. companies on the legal consequences for using race as a major, as a factor in hiring and employment practices, demonstrating how the Supreme Court's recent ruling dismantling affirmative action in higher education may trickle into the workplace. The state attorneys general sent a letter to the CEOs on Thursday, arguing that the controversial June ruling declared, declaring that race cannot be a factor in college admissions, consequently striking down decades old practices aimed at achieving diverse student bodies, could also apply to private entities like employers. We're going to take a short break from the Daily Global English News of Millennium News TV 24-7. Please stay with us. Thank you. Welcome to the world of Millennium News 24. We bring news, we analyze news, and we make a bridge between you and the eventful world. 24-7 Millennium News 24 team is at your service. Don't miss today's America, Editorial Today, and Global Democracy with host Tofadir Noor. Millennium News 24 is available to be watched free for all that TVs such as Sony, Samsung, LG, Roku TV, Amazon TV, and Apple TV. And also in all European countries and Australia available with the Sky Network, Worldwide Jago TV, Radiant IPTV, Worldwide Jago BD Network, and Horizon Satellite globally. Millennium TV 24 News, news you need to know. Hello and welcome back to Millennium News TV 24-7 Daily Global News Update in English. My name is Todd Goldfinger and here's the continuation of today's top stories. Thank you for being with us. News story number 11. Two senior members of the only major functioning opposition party in Cambodia have been arrested for allegedly teaching voters how to cast a spoiled ballot in this month's general election. The party and the government spokesperson said Saturday. They are the first people to be arrested under the country's recently amended election law. It penalizes politicians who encourage election boycotts, 
in a country where the party of Prime Minister Hun Sen, who has been in power for 38 years, is running virtually unopposed. The Candlelight Party, the, other, the only other contender capable of mounting a credible challenge in the July 23rd election, was barred on a technicality from contesting the polls by the National Election Committee. Its decision was widely seen as political. Next news. News story number 12. A federal court appeals a federal appeals court Friday temporarily paused a lower court's order limiting executive branch officials communications with social media companies about controversial online posts. The President Biden administration lawyers had asked the 5th US Circuit Court of Appeals in New Orleans to stay the preliminary injunction issued on July 4th by U.S. District Judge Terry Doughty. Doughty himself had rejected a request to put his order on hold pending appeal. Friday's brief Fifth Circuit order put Doughty's injunction, injunction on hold, in quotes, until further orders of the court, end quotes. It called for arguments in the case to be scheduled on an expedited basis. Next news, news story number 13. A 20-year-old woman has been arrested on federal narcotics charges and is accused of selling the drugs that led to the death of actor Robert De Niro's 19-year-old grandson, a law enforcement official said Friday. The woman, Sophia Haley Marks, appeared in Manhattan federal court on Friday and agreed to remain behind bars until she requests bail at a later date. Prosecutors said they would oppose a request for her release. Marx was arrested Thursday evening on three counts of narcotics distribution stemming from the sale of drugs to Leandro De Niro Rodriguez, the law enforcement official said. The official was not authorized to discuss details of the investigation publicly and spoke to the Associated Press on the condition of anonymity. Next news, news story number 14. Non-English language music, the future of the music business? Perhaps the global music industry surpassed one trillion streams at the fastest pace ever in a calendar year, Luminate's 2023 mid-year report has found. The number was reached in three months, a full month faster than 2022 global streams are also made up of 30.8% from last year, reflective on an increasingly international music marketplace. Next news, news story number 15. Kate. The Princess of Wales was back in the royal box at Wimbledon on Saturday for the women's final, along with several former champions and some stars of the entertainment world. The princess, wearing a pale green outfit, later presented the trophy to Marketa Vondrusova after the 24-year-old left-hander from the Czech Republic beat on Jabur of Tunisia, 6-4, six to four in the final on center court. Former champions Billie Jean King, Martina Navratilova, Ann Jones, Marion Bartoli, and Conchita Martinez were also in the Royal Box along with Academy Award-winning actor Maggie Smith, Priyanka Chopra, and Lynn manuel Miranda. This has been the Daily Global English News Update of Millennium News TV 24-7. I thank you for watching. My name is Todd David Goldfinger. Please log in to get the latest news on all of our social networking sites. That means Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. On TikTok, we are Millennium News 24. Also, our YouTube channel is News Channel M24. 
viewers now on both network broadcasting, Android and iOS devices, Apple TV, Roku TV, Amazon Fire TV, also all smart TV platforms. Please enjoy our entertainment and latest news and views and editorials. Our Millennium TV apps, Millennium TV USA Android, Millennium News Google, www.millenniumtv24.com. Please stay with Millennium News 24-7. We thank you and God bless you wherever you are. Peace. Thank you.